Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we're going to hop straight into the designer because it is time to build France's version of the Dreadnought. <laughs> um, invincible. Um, <laughs> sure, why not? That name never ever goes wrong when it's <laughs> the name of a warship. Um, how big can we make this? 27 thousand tons we could do 21 knots let's get standard on everything uh these new towers okay this one's superior let's get the small advanced oh look at that Eve. oh i love that mm, gorgeous yes uh secondary tower is there a similar one with a curviness no, that'd be too cool. <laughs> five point five six. Uh, that's the best one, but it's it's very British looking. Let's go with this one. It's kind of funky. Uh, I'm not sure where to put it. Actually, I'm just going to pop it there for now. Um, and let's get our engines picked. So we're gonna need the funnels. Yeah, that's what I thought. Two funnels, not enough. We even need four of the things. Yeah. Uh, huh. Um. Okay, not that one because <laughs> of that issue this one fit? Yeah, but not without some other issue. This one. There we go. That one looks right to me. Uh, it does look a little odd with the these funnels being higher than these ones and spaced weirdly, but needs a must. Next, guns. We're going to use the same uh, 300 and 20 millimeters that we used on the Republics. Uh, now, uh, they were 32050s from what I remember, but this time we do have access to barbets, which is very jazzy. Because we can have, if we wanted, a pair super firing forward. And, because I've been beelining these texts, a pair super firing aft. Very nice. I, wish, I actually wish this was not cut out, because... The other thing I would try and do is maybe put a queue in. I know you're thinking, oh, wing turrets. No, no, that, that is a good way to have your ship explode all the time. But these cutouts are perfect for our secondary battery. Uh, we can use the good old 155 that has been doing quite well for us. I think that's probably going to be it, apart from if we can fit here yeah, 80 mils in every available slot. Uh, there we go. Now, the question is do we bother with torpedo launchers on this ship? I'm going to say no. I think the whole point of this is that it is an all big gun ship that should prove uh, and again particularly in this campaign where I'm not throwing anything away these ships are going to have to be in service pretty much constantly um, and it's, it's especially if we could get this thing to go faster this is going to be a very effective like 
in a convoy defense role uh, against enemy heavy cruisers even into the late game. Uh, especially, and if we can make it go fast later on with better engine techs and things, uh, maybe some spare displacement that would be fantastic. But for now, for now, we're just going to have to. Oh, an advanced radio. Cool. For now, we're just going to have to go with this. Uh, one hundred and five percent armor quality. Another big jump now that we're into the Krupp series. Proper cemented armor. Now, I reckon these things are going to be engaging 5,000 meters plus. So I actually quite like the amount of armor that it's already on there. 370 feels about right to me. Now, high explosive, I think... Uh, we could stop with 100 mil, but the AP on these 6-inch guns is quite good. So I'm going to go for 120, actually. <laughs> Funnily enough, I completely agree with the designer's choice there. Deck armor, 57 mil would probably be fine. But... Oops. I'm starting to feel like... Our deck protection isn't going to be enough, particularly if we're building this with an eye to the future. So I'm going to put 50 mil on the extended decks and 100 on the main. The tower. Um. Go 420. And the inner belt. 120 and the inner deck 50. 80 mil guns. 120 and 50. Wow, those are actually very, very heavily armoured. Um, something like that on the uh, six, six inches basically it's 12 12 and a bit well no, they're more like 12 and a half something like that six inch and 80 mils would be three inch basically um, guns if you convert back to Imperial and we have, we have spare displacement that is very exciting get many bulkheads yeah I think that's going to be the best use of that extra displacement could we get that extra half knot or we could I don't like the engine deficiency going down though um, we'll keep the 21 knots keep the 21 knots and that I think is that actually I I like it. She's reasonably well armoured. This is... Well, I'll tell you what, it's easier than me sitting there thinking about it. If I go default... There, there's the armour. I think that is perfectly acceptable. Pretty reasonable. Um, and there are the guns if you're more of a imperial person there we go and uh, there we have it the invincible <laughs> class which is absolutely that name is not going to cause me any problems later is it no 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 of course it won't <laughs> but uh, radically different. How do they compare to the uh, republics that are just about to finish? Same number of guns, but we can fire them. Like they're not. It's not eight barrels, port and starboard, two 
fore and aft. It's eight port and starboard and four fore and aft. Uh, we don't carry as many <laughs> secondary guns. Now we are a little bit faster and a little bit bigger and a little bit more expensive. So again, it's not really a, a massive leap for France. More of a, a generational improvement, but yeah, I think the ships are going to do just fine in the future. Right, how many can we build? That is a more important question. And I'm going to head over to the finance screen and work it out. Yeah, I could build as many as four, but I think we're going to stick with our three battleship um, our three battleship idea. We're going to build them in Marseille, in La Havre, and in Brest, of course. And these are going to form the new backbone of the fleet. Although, yeah, are the... Does that mean the Republics? Yes, they are. They just started commissioning up. Fantastic. Well, that is very exciting. All right, then. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to go end the turn. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I need to sort out my budget. <laughs> Is, uh, I've been uh, splurging on the tech. Need to reduce that for a bit while we get these ships up and running. Um, but we're going to go back to the war with China. Right, it's now October. Um, Guinea-Bissau. Where? Ah. Um, that's the sort of thing the Mediterranean fleet can handle, I think. Can uh, take Portuguese Guinea, securing our our uh, West African holdings. We the uh, the fleet arrived and immediately got a a, a free transport kill. Uh, we got a bunch of convoy battles, but before all that, I do want to begin a naval invasion. Ooh, I was going to go Pengu then for most of it. Let's go Formosa first. It might have been because we uh, did... Yeah, we, we must have bombed uh, <laughs> Tianan. Um, I have upped the naval bombardment damage significantly. Um, it's nice to see it actually making a difference then. Right, what have I got here? The the Hifi. <laughs> the Hifa. Uh, Zucheng and Henyang. Do we have the Brui? And a Tricolor class, the Targa. Um, and 11 transports. I'm not convinced we're going to be able to pull this one off. But, um, you know, maybe. Maybe we can... Uh, do something here. going <laughs> don't know just go in our own directions uh right well stop that where's the enemy There's the enemy. Perfect timing. Um, another god awful, hideous junk of a ship. I mean, they are quite low, which kind of gives them a kind of cool appearance. But good grief! 
Just no. Cruiser taking on the battleship. Come about. On the Brui. Oprix. Taking her on. Although. Target has torpedoes. We can do a little uh, cheeky torpedo run because these light cruisers are out of position. Front launcher, right? Yep. Come on, front launcher. No, don't you dare. Front launcher not firing. For some reason. Uh, mysteries, mysteries of torpedoes. Here we go. Lovely stuff. More? have hits. We have damage. Quite a lot, actually. Good show. Here for pretty hurt after that. Was that the butt torpedo? I think it was, and I missed it. Down goes the hipper. Superb work by a target. That's causing all sorts of problems. Hang on, goes down right as uh, Brewy fires torpedoes at it. funnels Torpedoes are out. Perfect. <laughs> ah! Should finish off the Zhu Sheng. Yep. Good work. Very good work. Don't think we're going to be able to find the uh, transports in time. But uh, you never know two minutes for them to show up. No. 
Right. Next. Right, next we have this battle down here. <laughs> A small force of two battleships. Both uh, Shushangs. One is 1892, the other one is 1894. They run into a porcupine, a Cosmo, and a destroyer. Hmm. You can take out another two battleships. That would be... I'm going to say battleships. <laughs> They uh, barely count, in my opinion. We seem to be able to take them out with pretty much anything. And that is the light cruiser. There is the battleship, or well, at least the first one. On fire. There you go. Shang. Both hit, both detonate. Very nice. That might actually sink her. It's a lot of flooding. And this compartment has a little bit in it. All of her engines are out. She doesn't have any anti-flood. Well, hanging on. Oh. Water in all of these compartments. Oh, that says zero. There we go. Brilliant job. Absolutely superb job there. By the aspirant Uber. I'll ask more for that. <laughs> Destroyer sinks a battleship in one torpedo pass and gets away scot free. See if we can do it again. My cruiser is getting chewed up. Oh, hit us with an HE shell and it just goes right off the armor. Now this one is slightly different. Sao Chung. Ah, oh, goes down. But the Rinchen takes a bunch of torpedoes right in the guts. 
torpedo room, starting to flood. Oh, she does get a nasty hit on Marcier. Oh, please don't sink it. Now we've got um. Oh, and that's the end of the battle. Marcier takes damage, but lives. And that is two more terrible, terrible battleships sent to the bottom. Oh, dearie me. All right, more convoys to attack. This time we have the Thong. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, an amusing name. <laughs> uh, again, we should be able to just drive up to it, put a bunch of torpedoes into it, if we can clean up or get past the... Uh, enemy screens. There's small stuff. Uh, might actually detach Katina. Because she is a bit slower than the other two. Uh, bigger sisters sailing past. Right. The battleship is over there. All right. And then there's the transports. Yeah, Katina. Uh, keep going for those transports. Ducons and jean -Bas can attempt to sink that battleship. Guns on them. Torpedoes on the battleship, please. Good hit from Jean Bar. get them or not right, get a normal five torpedoes and uh, hopefully we'll get some hits and if we get hits hopefully they explode Some of them exploded early. Oh, very close to missing. And they all hit on the back of his ship, which is not the best, but we still have Jean Bar here. He has not fired yet. Very good. Again, fired too far forwards. Want it a little bit more this this away. Well, I guess it is going to hit the front of the ship. Ah! Uh, quite a few duds in there, but uh, a lot of flooding on the thong. Lots of flooding. 
Yep, there we go. She goes down. Good. Okay. Maybe take out the other two cruisers, please. Get those torpedoes reloaded. Swing around. Quite a lot of torpedoes heading uh, Anquing's way, but all of them are going to miss. <laughs> Hilarious. They're going to go long and hit the heavy cruiser? I'll be quite lucky. Oh, ho, ho. nearly. <laughs> We're swinging around. Gonna switch both of them on to save with their torps. Don't waste them. Queen. Taking some knocks here. Done. Oh, and torpedoes get the Jing Wen. This is these so bad. These ships. Oh, and this hitbox gets him. <laughs> poor, poor China. Katina, meanwhile, has caught up to the transports. Which are armed, but I am going to cue the music and deal with them without chatting through super speed.
There we go. Another small convoy gone, and another battleship gone. Excellent. Alright, next up, the Omri the Fourth has found yet another convoy and two armoured cruisers. I mean, China is putting up a fight here, but I think personally, <laughs> if I was the Chinese Admiral, I'd be a little bit concerned that basically the entire Navy was getting bodied. <laughs> and you send a ship out and it doesn't come back. Because, yeah, they're looking a little bit light. So, uh, Mistral. <laughs> hmm. I seem to remember you doing all sorts of weird things in the last battle. Maybe you can redeem yourself. Hmm? Torpedoes away. Uh. Oh, Mistral. No. <laughs> right, Hussar. Can you do better? Fire. Oh, bit of uh, mutually assured destruction there. Both destroyers beaten up. Oh, they did get the Hexy. So that's one armoured cruiser out of the way. Oh, we lose the Hussar. Uh, less good. Mistral gonna get away? Probably. Even though, once again, she did... Well, okay, not nothing. She did get a torpedo hit. Okay, fair. Fair enough. No more Mistral slander. Oh, nice. Oh, two hits, but both duds. Sad. Got a 100% chance to hit with the guns here. One of them goes through, does a bit of damage. No flooding, though. It's a bit annoying. Armour oh, effective that time. Turning away. Ah, oh, gotcha. Right in the engine room. <gasps> oh, bye bye. And uh, then there were just transports, which the Honoring the Fourth should have no problems with. Cue the music.
And there we go. Uh, shame about the sub, but uh, happy about yet another convoy going down. Right, one more convoy to do uh, for Faye and Sappy against, well, more cruisers, basically. Hopefully we can finish this one relatively quickly. <laughs> At least I hope so. Uh, da -da -da. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dum, 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 dum. Enemy in sight. Cruiser. Spears behind its smoke screen. There are the transports. Where's the heavy? The back. Interesting. All right, Sapi. See if you can get some torpedoes on the target. for them. Nice. Pop smoke. Oh, beautiful strike. Double dud. <laughs> oh, isn't that just typical? Too far forward. Always too far forward. Oh no, not too far forward. They hit. I was uh, misreading that. No move. Although they are all in the forward section. I'm not as interested in the cruisers this time. I'd rather take out the transports. I mean, it's nice to sink the cruisers, don't get me wrong. But they're not as important, really, because we can make China collapse. They are potentially ours for the taking, because we can push up from um, Vietnam. Or, rather, what is modern-day Vietnam? Oh, we sunk the other light cruiser. Okay, never mind. How is your reload going? Uh, getting there. Maybe the Sape can take out the uh, cruiser while the uh, Forfait takes out the rest. She shouldn't have much to fear from the transports. Pedos at them and everything. Sape is reloading. We need to reload quicker. I really do need to reload quicker. Please, please, please. Please be reloaded just in time. At least the uh, tubes will be aimed. No, 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 no. Oh, damn it, too late. I was going to try and tell it not to fire because I could see that it was a poor angle. And yeah, torpedoes just going either side of the ship. Still, should be able to finish off these two transports. No problem.
There we go. Uh, well, Faye, do you want to have a have a crack at this? Or are we just gonna agree to disagree? I think we're gonna agree to disagree. Because they are retreating. Yep, end battle. Lovely. Well, uh, I think I'm going to end the episode here, actually. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to check China. <laughs> okay, so China down to 21.5 billion each. They have two heavy cruisers. Uh, one of them might be. One of these might be a heavy cruiser. This might be a heavy cruiser repairing. And 11 torpedo boats. We have really cut through them. Enough that I think we can probably blockade them, but we're probably going to need the whole fleet for um, invasion purposes. But um, once we take Pengu and Formosa, if the Chinese are still fighting, we can blockade them and we can try and force a collapse. And as long as the army gets its arse in gear and takes southern China, either from Fort Bayard or from Tonkin... We, we should have a chance. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.